Good evening, everyone. This is Thomas of White House Loft. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I haven't had much going on lately, and I just uh, didn't feel a need for it. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't plan on racing my birds, of course, this year, like some of you other guys are. Uh, so really, it's just for my enjoyment. Uh, I got a few birds here. Uh, some of these, if you can, you can see them. Some of them are young birds, some of them are last year's birds, and a few older birds. Um, these are usually the ones I let out to fly or I loft fly. I do, I have taken some off uh, on a mile or two and just let them fly back home. Uh, most of these are blue bar, blue check. There is a dark check there. Uh, as you can see, there's some corn in the feed troughs there. They've ate everything else. Uh, Kind of overlooked the floor if you would I, I need to do a cleaning i just haven't had a chance to do it i've been busy working a lot and it's been so hot here in kentucky 95 degree temp uh with the humidity higher than that so but uh, i'll give a quick update let you know what's going on here um i think there's about 28 or 29 birds here um there was a few reds or silvers and I moved them over to the other side. So I think uh, for the most part, these are all blue bar and blue check. So that hen right there, she laid an egg yesterday on the floor and I picked it up and put it in that box there in the corner or in that bowl. I'm probably not going to let them raise those. I'm actually probably going to float some eggs over from my whites over on the far side and i'll show you those in a few minutes uh she just laid two eggs a couple days ago so i'm gonna probably take those out and put some wooden ones underneath her because like i said i'm i'm kind of done with breeding season but I, I did do some selective breeding and i'll show you that in a little bit so all right let's go over here and i'll show you what's going on Pull this door behind me bear with me all right, as you can see here, uh, there is some mostly red. There's a few blue checks and blue bars here. Uh, the hen in the corner there, she's sitting on two eggs. They came from the white pigeons I got over on the other side. That silver there, she's got two eggs. They were from the whites as well. I just, uh, I don't want any more babies off of these. So I did float two eggs a piece underneath them too, uh, just because I want to have more white pigeons. So, all right, we'll go over and I'll show you those. That bird right there is one of my young birds from this year. Try to walk up here a little bit where you can see him. He's one that I usually fly. Like I said, I just moved him in over here on this side. Probably put him in the breeding program next year. Well, actually, I think it might be a hen. I'm not sure, but. All right, over here, this is gonna be my project for next year. Uh, some of you have watched my past videos, you know, uh, I talked about the tiger grizzles. I got a couple up there. Uh, I'm hoping to raise more next year from them. That black right there in the middle, she's paired up with a white. Uh, they got one egg uh, right there. The other one was infertile. That one right there, they had two eggs they laid. And then one of these birds, I don't know which one, they laid two more eggs on the floor over in this corner. Um, overlook that wire there. I gotta move that cable up out of the way. But uh, I put those two eggs underneath her. There was four eggs total. And I think two of them hatched uh, that was hers and then one of the little eggs that had been laid on the floor it hatched but I don't know if that baby's going to make it he's real little and the other egg it hasn't hatched yet Let's see if I can get in here and hopefully she won't pick me too bad so alright you can see there there's two babies alright she moves so I'll show you guys uh, this baby right here he's so tiny Compared to the other two, I don't know if he's gonna make it. And this egg here, if it don't hatch in another day or so, I'm gonna throw it out. Uh, it's a little dirty, as you can see. I don't know if it's gonna hatch, but 
I usually don't like to have them laying on eggs this late in the year because it's so hot. Like I said, it's 95 plus degrees here, but this little baby, he's he's a tiny little guy uh, compared to the others. Uh, now I thought about putting him down here under her. She's got the one egg. Well, she's mean as can be. You can see she's fired up. She's She's got the one egg there and it's starting to crack. Um, let me get, let me know what you guys think uh, as far as putting that young, tiny baby up underneath the black hen, and now she gets off the nest. But that egg, as you can see, it's starting to, that baby's starting to crack there, uh, come out. So hopefully in the next day or two, uh, that baby will come out. Do have two eggs on the floor here. They're molting really bad, as you can see. They got two eggs. I wasn't gonna let them have any, but that is a hen that's got tiger grizzle in her. And so she's paired to a black cock that I have. So hopefully we can get some tiger grizzles out of them. But my loft is dirty, it needs to be cleaned. Um, sorry for the way it looks, but everybody has pigeons, they know that. Uh, it looks pretty rough, so uh, and everybody's loft at one point in time. A lot of these birds I have here are young birds. Uh, there's my yellow that I raised this year. I'm gonna put her in the breeding program. I think I'm gonna pair her back to her father. He's a Millie cock. Uh, I got in the middle cage there. See if I can get some some more um, yellows. Uh, but some of these here are young birds, like that one right there. Actually, both of them are young. Y'all overlook the dust, it's flying around. I gotta get, get an exhaust fan in here for it, so. Uh, but overall, that's really about all that's going on uh, right now at White House Loft. Not a lot, but just wanted to give a short update. So if you would, let me know what y'all think though about moving that little baby down to where the black hen is there, because I hate to lose him. I, I'd like to, and I think he might be a white or at least a grizzle. Uh, but just let me know what you think. Uh, that cock bird right there, he's the father to those two eggs in the corner. And that's that's his mate right there uh, that's sitting on the eggs. And he, he's been trying to pair up with that white one there too that just flew over there. Uh, he's, and I got that blue one there, if you can see that blue one. He's got grizzle in him too, so. Uh, get a grizzle background so that's why I put him over here so all right let's go back to the middle here hopefully my phone won't die it's, it's trying to die so uh got that done right there I, I think that's a hen I'm not sure but I think that's a hen uh I'm gonna breed her if it is a hen if not I'll take I mean if it's a cock he'll be in the breeding program too so so that's about it not a lot going on just wanted to give a quick update um like i said that hen right there that's her uh, that's not her eggs uh i floated them over from a white pair some way on that there too so, uh there is uh let's see if i can get a good picture of him there's the father of the yellow he uh he's a billy cock uh and uh, I'm going to try to bring him to that yellow hen there that I showed you a while ago. So let me know what y'all think about that. Sorry I'm moving the camera around so much, but I wanted to kind of get a close-up view of him. There he is right there. That's a better view. He's a three-year-old bird. He was given to me by a friend of mine. Uh, he, he does have a band on him, and he is registered. So. All right, uh, I'm running too long on this video, kind of rambling around, but I uh, just wanted to give a quick update since it's been a while, so. All right, uh, hopefully everybody's doing okay uh, with the coronavirus and everything that's going on now. Uh, but everybody stay safe out there and keep your pigeons flying. Talk to you later. Thanks.